Hi, this is Paul from Fossa Tech. In this video, let's prove uh, the theorem 2.1.1. Uh, we call cofactor expansion theorem. This theorem is the fundamental for the definition of a determinant. Um, the theorem states if A is a general and by matrix, then no matter which row or which column that you choose to expand by the cofactor expansion, the result always the same. Okay, that's proof. <laughs> Um, so first uh, we need to start from a row or a column, right? So let's define, um, let's give it this definition. Okay, let's uh, say uh, determinant of A uh, is defined by Cofact expansion by the first row. Okay. By the first row. Okay. Therefore, now we do have what is the determinant of A, right? Is a number. If we expand by the first row. We have to prove if we expand by another row, we still get the same determinant of A. And also we need to prove if we uh, expand by another column, the first column or any other columns, we always get it the same. Um, let's say the row first, okay. So how to prove another row has the same result if we expand Mm, we have to use some uh, properties okay, from future section. So let me see. So first, uh, let me uh, define the matrix A is a, a general. Uh, so let me see A11, A12, da, da, da. A is n by n. One n. Uh, goes uh, to, let's pick the Ith row, okay, to expand, which is a i one, right? A i two, da, 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 a i m, okay. I ignore other rows, and then the last a m one, a n two, da, da, a n n. Okay, so now we have to choose this row to expand. Oh, imagine. <coughs> How do you expand this? Um, we have to use the row operation, okay? Because now we only define the determinant that is defined by the cofactor expansion by the first row. We have to move this ith row to the first row. Therefore, we can expand it by the first row, right? But how we can do this? Um, we do need the one row at the uh, above of uh, the i row. Let me uh, write uh, one more row so you can see. It's a i minus one. Uh, let me see one. A i minus one two. That that, that goes to a i minus one n. Uh, I write uh, one row here because see, I can easily interchange these two row. Okay, this one row operation. What do we have? We will we will move the ith row to the i minus one row. After this, and then we interchange uh, i minus row with the row above it, and then that the second step, and then step by step, finally we can move the ith row to the first row. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's do. <clears throat> Uh, we need to go through some steps, okay. And then finally, the I throw will move to the first. Let me write 
and therefore the second row of course is the original first row right so a one one a one two dot dot a one and and then goes on uh, the original i minus one throw see i minus one throw one i minus one throw two a i minus one throw and we'll go to the i throw and the but now it is should it be a i plus one one a i plus one two and then goes to a i plus one and imagine and the last row of course keep the same i n one n two go to a i n n okay uh, we look at it this time and the original i throw go to the first and of course we know it should be in the change how many times we should enter change uh, row how many times mm, i minus one times right i minus one times which means that we need to do row operation, the second type of row operation, m minus one times. Therefore, the ith row go to the first. Let's see, this matrix is B. Okay, we do see the relationship between these two matrix. And the relationship, so we can find uh, determinant of A. Let's see should be equals uh, determinant of b times what negative one raised to a power okay so let's see determinant of b uh raised to how many is power okay so that's a property from the future uh, section if you interchange one time and then you times negative one so now we interchange i minus one times so you have to raised to the power of i minus one times okay so this is the property that's the relationship between a and the b uh, this uh, theorem 2.2.2.3 okay so now we can do expansion by the Kothak expansion of b right see b we expanded the first row so therefore what do we have uh, let's say expand uh, B by the first row see that's the definition we assume at the beginning right so this time is negative 1 raised to I minus 1's power the determinant of course I write in summation uh, which is a I uh, let's say K it's okay so k start from one to and see cofactoric expansion is the number and then the entry and the matrix in a row and then multiply by the cofactor let's see the cofactor so the cofactor uh, we can use negative one raised to a power times the minus right okay so let's see is negative one uh, what is the power because a i k uh, should be in the first row right so the row is one makes sense and then the column is k see so uh, <clears throat> that's one plus k is the position and then times the minor the minor but the minor is the minor of b. So how do you say? Let me uh, use this. Is that okay? So m parenthesis b means the minor of b. Uh, the position is uh, i k, right? Uh, it's i k. The position should be one k, right? Should be one the first row and the case column. Is the minor of uh, B1K, right? 
but B1K exactly equals A I K. Make sense? Okay, so pay attention. This is the minor. We can link the minor to the minor of a matrix A. Okay, so that's the one. So let's see what is the link. So I can put uh, just put here. Um, negative one raised to I minus one. I copy. And the K from one to N. A I K times negative one raised to one plus K. Okay, so the minor of matrix is B and the first row. What is the minor? Minor is cut at the row and then cut at the color. Imagine, so this minor is exactly back to the minor of A. So I can put this is the minor exactly of matrix A. The position, imagine, is the I throw the K color. Does that make sense? See, think about this is the super important part. This uh, what uh, this the matrix A. This one is the minor of uh, matrix A. Okay, uh, or is this? Let me see. Is the minor of uh, A? I K in the matrix A. Okay. They are the same because imagine the same row cut and then the same column cut, but the left is exactly the same. If it's the same, okay. therefore, what do we have? And then do one more step. Uh, I can put see this one. Can you uh, let me this way? This is put the inside. This is a constant number. Nothing related to K, so I can put it inside and then put it together. We can get something. Okay. This is K from 1 to N. A I K negative 1. Raised to I minus 1 plus 1 plus K. What do we get? Negative 1 and the 1 cancel and then we get I plus K. I plus K. And the minor of A. Add I K. You should be very familiar now. What is okay? This exactly is the expansion by the I throw. Okay, expand the matrix A by the I row. Can you go back? See A I K is there, right? A I one. Times negative one raised to the power of i plus k. This is the sign, and then times the corresponding minor. So this is the core factor. This is that okay? So put that together. Okay. This is just uh, the core factor of a i k in the matrix. Uh, so this is one proof. So now what do we get? We get it if uh, we define the determinant A by expanding the first row and then the, the determinant of A finally equals this term. This term is just expand A by the rth row. No matter what is I, the second or the third or any one is the same result. Uh, now one more. <clears throat> how about the column? Okay, so how to switch the column? Um, we can do easy. Uh, see, the easy way we can do, um, we can transpose, okay, we can transpose. So, let's say A is the original. If we want to expand the, the J's uh, column of A, Okay, we only need to transpose A first to get the matrix B and then expand the uh, Jth row of matrix B, right? See, we only need this. We do oops, transpose. Oops. We transpose 
a to transpose a if I say b. Okay, so now you know <clears throat> what do we do? Um, we want to expand. Okay, we want to expand. Uh, we can start up from expand the column of b. See, and uh, first I know the determinant of a equals the determinant of b. Okay, because the theorem 2.2.2 .2 says okay that the future property if we transpose. It would not change the determinant. Okay. Uh, expand the uh, jth column, for example. The jth column of A means uh, the same as we expand the uh, jth row of B, right? Okay, good. So let's write. So if we say now is the summation, I ignore. Here means. Uh, Expand uh, B by the jth row. Okay, that's the determinant that we already proved before. Should be equals the expansion that, that I also know. Should be equals expand uh, matrix A by the jth column because the minor should be the same because when we do transpose the minors they keep the same and then the number the entries they keep the same so therefore this is true right so what do we get we get if we expand the matrix a the original matrix by any column so the equals the determinant of a so if we put everything together what do we prove the result? Yes, definitely. Okay, so therefore, no matter you expand by row, the first row or any other row or any other column, we can transpose the column to row or whatever. Okay, so that's the proof for this theorem. Thank you.